the campus of UCLA. The bear is a growling during this holiday period, but it's time to come on inside legendary Edwin W. Pauley Pavilion. For UCLA basketball, it's the final tune-up before the Pac-10 begins the end of the week. It's the uh, Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and the Bruins of UCLA. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Bill McConnell. This is Don McLean. Welcome to our nooner here today. It's uh, high noon. Uh, we got up early, and we're ready to go. We hope you are, too. Take a break from football and uh, get to some uh, college basketball right here. Well, after dropping a 113 on Wyoming and what was a pretty fun game to watch if you're a Bruin fan, here comes Louisiana Tech, but the big story is Josh Ship is back and should be in the starting lineup. Always nice when you get your second leading scorer back, isn't yeah. it, Billy? And Josh Ship, and talking to him a few minutes ago, said the left thumb still sore when the ball hits it the wrong way, still hurts. The good news is it's not his shooting hand, and as UCLA later this week, Billy, starts the Pac-10 schedule on the road, it's good to get some of that veteran leadership back. We'll see how he performs, but nice to get a game under your belt before you start. And a big story will be the mindset of Michael Roll, how much he will play and how he'll play. Chris McGee will talk about that later on. And oh, we'll he's obviously, gonna play. Yeah, well, he'll play a lot, <laughs> but we'll discuss about his mindset and what he right. has to do a little bit later on, too. Uh, what about Louisiana Tech? They've got a homecoming of sorts for a Dorsey star. Well, Kyle Gibson coming home, played at Dorsey, as you mentioned. Their leading score, 36 minutes a game. So they obviously lean on him to play a ton of minutes each and every game. It's always a thrill, as we talk about a lot, Billy, when these guys go away and pretty far away to Louisiana to go to school. Nice for them to come home. We'll see how he performs back here home they, in L.A. Yeah, they're 6-6, six and six, which matches their win total of last year, but they're pretty good, and they've got some hype, which should be interesting to see how UCLA will defend. When we come back after this, we'll get it underway. Final tune-up before Oregon State at the end of the week. The Bulldogs and the Bruins, we've got the tip-off right after this. 